Hello friends, Doug Fink, back with another exciting addition to the PowerShell AI module. You can get ChatGPT at your fingertips in the console and many other places, and I'm going to show you how to do it with a new thing I built called NB Copilot, Notebook Copilot. You can now use it inside of uh, Polyglot Interactive Notebooks. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see when I come up with more, vid more videos on this kind of stuff. So let's take this first bid. Okay, so here I am, I'm inside a Polyglot interactive notebook. If you search for that on the internet, you can find the GitHub repo that they have and how to install it and then install the Visual Studio Code extension and you're off to the races. So here I have a cell and you can think of this cell as being a, I'm in the PowerShell console and all I have to do is hit the run button. And I'm asking it to write a PowerShell core function, just the function, no explanation, do not show how to use it and that will show a date and time in a time stamp form. So it went out to ChatGPT and used the REST API, passed in this prompt, and it came back with that code. MB Copilot takes that, parses it, gets it ready, and then inserts it as a another cell inside of your Polyglot notebook. So when you save it, all of this will be available to you. Now I can come down here and I can give it a try. I can call it call the get timestamp. And we can see that it, in fact it actually works. Now I'm having a conversation with ChatGPT. So I, uh, it's, it's going to remember my first request about writing the PowerShell core function. And what I want to do now is say, uh, okay, MB Copilot, let's add a parameter that will let the user specify just the date. I don't need the time. And we'll run this up. Control Enter. So it remembers the conversation, what was asked before, it knows how to check that out, and it also knows how, understands, uh, has memory and has context. So when I can add, ask it to add a parameter, it knows, I don't have to tell it to what function, because it already knows that. And sure enough, we uh, almost got it right. So let's make another modification. So that will allow the user to specify, not the format of the date, just specify the date. And we'll get rid of this one. So this is how you can tailor and refine your questions. Now, now it will remember what we just told it, and that's not too bad. Um, so it gave us the, the, the date, which I wanted for that as a parameter. It kept the format, no big deal. Let's, um, well, we can run it, and then we can try it. Add another code cell. And I'm just gonna try out that plus, let's try one slash 22. And you can see it actually picks up the parameter correctly. And then if we don't want that kind of a format, we can change the format on the two string by passing that in as well. I won't demo that. The last thing I'll do to bring this home is let's talk to MB Copilot again. Remember, it's got context and memory. And now what I wanna do is I wanna tell it to add comment based help to the function. So let's see what that does. And there we have it. Comes back with comment based help, a synopsis, it talks about the parameters, it gives us a couple examples, and everything's good to go. I can run it and it actually compiles, so to speak. Or it just puts it into the run space for PowerShell because it's dynamic. Anyway, so we saw some really cool things. We started out with a single cell and said write a PowerShell core function. And it did, and then we asked it to add a parameter, and it did a couple of them. We refined that, and then finally we asked it to write comment-based help to the function. Now I can get rid of all of these different cells, right? I come here and delete this one, and I can delete this one, and I can just be left with the final gets timestamp with the help already set up, and the function with the parameters, and uh, I'm ready to either put that in another script or get on with my next task inside the notebook. So I hope you liked it, and I'll be back down the road with some more. Take care.